enjoy nothing more than shredding pavement on my one wheels and skateboards. But I have kids, a day job, a wife, a lawn mowing tractor, and all these things conspire to make me primarily a late night rider. It's what I do that defines me. I really thought I had it figured out with all my headlamp systems. But then this pretty little puppy showed up in the mail. The Faro Smart Helmet from Unit 1. But is it as smart as Unit 1 claims it to be? Yes. Even with all options included, is it really worth the hefty price tag of $230? It's his first day on Wall Street. Give him time. This video review is not sponsored by Unit One nor any other company. However, they did send me this helmet free of charge for the purpose of a video review. I'm using air quotes here because although I technically did not pay for the helmet, my good friends at FedEx nonetheless slapped me with a whopping $108.41 of custom fees. <laughs> Be a YouTuber, they said. You'll get a bunch of free stuff, they said. Surely this act of utter selflessness on my part warrants you spending the 1.3 calories it'll take you to click that like button. Come on, come on, oh, there it is, thank you. In any case, Unit 1 does not have any editorial say over this video, I do not answer to them in any way, and I am free to say and do with this helmet what I damn well please. <laughs> Keep watching to see what happens. <laughs> Spec sheet. The hard shell on this helmet is primarily made out of ABS thermoplastic, same stuff that makes up Lego bricks. Which means that unlike the otherwise excellent polycarbonate helmets out there, this puppy is virtually scratch proof. The back of the helmet is made out of a proprietary tear resistance and IPX6 water resistant mesh fabric. Pretty sure most of the smart stuff is under here. It's got a fancy and very satisfying magnetic buckle. Oh, pretty strong that buckle, up to 65 kilos of force before it comes apart. It's got a white LED strip at the front, red LED strip at the back, and it also got a hidden full RGB animated light panel under that mesh there at the back, which is a lot of fun. Taken together, these lights generate up to 500 lumens total. Solar flare! Jesus Christ, dude. Depending on your light settings, the internal battery will last from three to 10 hours. It is USB-C rechargeable and you get a cool hell bar display when you boot it up or shut it down. It is CPSC certified in the US, EN 1078 in Europe. It is Bluetooth compatible for both the companion app and the optional signal remote. Yeah, there's a signal remote for $39.99 for all you bikers out there. And for an additional $39.99, there is an official MIPS safety option. Whoa, hold on, what the hell is MIPS? Well, quite obviously, it stands for Multidirectional Impact Protection System. Its goal is to help diffuse rotational impacts, which occurs in most helmet-related incidents. Not that it matters to me, but most helmets out there are only designed to protect you against direct impact. <laughs> So if you are serious about protecting what you comically refer to as a brain, I suggest you give MIPS some serious thoughts. If you're even capable of such a thing. In practical terms, MIPS is a super light liner that can rotate independently from the hard shell. It's not intrusive at all, it does not add any weight to the helmet, and it's been refined and tested thoroughly using the scientific method of hurling dummies at the wall until their sensors tell you they did not die. Then you stick it in a box and sell it. In my humble opinion, anything that adds nugget protection is a welcome upgrade that I would pay for any day. I pretty much did. Aesthetics. The Faro Smart Helmet comes in a choice of four colors for you to pick from. Blackbird, Juniper, Stingray, and the one color name that successfully tugged at my heartstrings, Maverick. In all honesty, powder blue does not fit my skin tone all that well. 
I probably should have gone for Blackbird. Blackbird. Skin tone consideration aside, I find the Faro helmet to be quite pleasing to the eyes. Its lines are very clean, it's got an interesting angular profile. All the smart tech components are nowhere to be seen on the outside, except for these two LEDs, which are fairly subtle and super well incorporated into the hard shell. But once you turn it on and get greeted by this surprisingly cool LED display, I can tell you for a fact, the Faro helmet would have been all the rage in the early aughts rave parties. I like the refined urban looks, the seamless tech integration, as well as the depraved light show once the sun goes down. And as cool as all this is, and it is pretty cool, <laughs> honestly, I think I should have gone for the Blackbird. Blackbird. Sorry, Mav. Still miss you, buddy. Versatility. Anything with the label smart either comes with an app or streams Netflix these days. Now, I do find the Faro Netflix integration to be quite impressive tech-wise, but there's just no real case for it. <laughs> just kidding, this thing doesn't stream Netflix, psych. But the app is real and 100% usable. Thank you. This is where you'll find your battery level monitor, your profile information, your writing stats, your ubiquitous achievement badges. Does anyone still care about Gamerscore? Eh. But most important of all, this is where you'll find the light customization options. Both of the light strips can be independently activated, flashed, strobed, or pulsated, which, depending on what you choose, will affect battery duration. Uh oh. The app will show you in real time how much light time you still have, which is pretty cool. But really, the hidden light panel at the back is where the party is at, which I shall rename henceforth the light mullet. There's a bunch of light mullet colors to pick from, as well as a bunch of animation presets that will amaze and confuse the hell out of bystanders and drivers as you roll by. I personally prefer the Knight Rider sweep animation. I think it fits the light mullet perfectly. Actually, the silence from Battlestar Galactica with the first one. <laughs> Any sudden deceleration will be picked up by the accelerometers and turn the light mullet into a brake light. And if you are more of a bike rider than a one-wheeler, the optional signal remote will allow you to turn the light mullet into an honest-to-God blinker turn signal, making it super obvious for anyone paying attention which way it is that you wish to turn, in theory. Because you'll never, in a million years, find me putting any kind of trust in the attention span of drivers. And so I urge each and every one of you to keep your wits about you at all times, even while using these very cool, very bright, very smart, very well thought out light mullet blinkers. Light mullet. Stay alive. Fall detection. Should you choose to activate fall detection inside of the app, the aforementioned accelerometers will measure any kind of hard bumps on your noggin and send an SOS text as well as GPS location to a number of your choosing. Whenever this happens, the app will give you a slight delay in which to react before it sends that text. Sounds well and good in theory, but I want to test it out and see exactly how this works. Police come. Wow, cool, my turn. Yeah. Whoops, my shoelace. Ah. Fall detection is not overly sensitive, which is good, so it won't trigger for no reason. But even if it did, the app does a good job of checking up on you to see if indeed you are lying in a ditch somewhere, all cold and gray and disgusting. Ah, I hate that movie. Boy, that guy really bumped his head. Such a bummer. I love his reviews. Dr. Squash with you guys. That's the one. This smells good. Final thoughts. 
Being a frequent night rider prowling the main streets of Quebec City, I really enjoy what the Faro Helmets brings to the table. Its front light strips is bright, but not enough to piss off other city dwellers. The backlight strip is an excellent beacon letting everybody see you from afar. And the magnetic buckle. Oh yeah. Do it again. Oh, I mean, come on. You cannot go back to squeeze buckles after that. Huh? And of course, the light mullet would be all party all the time. Light mullet. Except for the fact that it has some substantial safety features built right into it. It is sleek, it is refined, it's nerdy, it's stylish, it's brilliant, it's expensive, it is all these things and much, much more. Honestly, I am amazed by this thing. I wear it every goddamn day. And the only real knock I have against it is I should have gone with the Blackbird. Blackbird. If you want to fix my mistake and get you some Blackbird Faro helmet of your own, be sure to enter my coupon code at checkout and save yourself a hundred bucks. That'll get you the MIPS, the signal remote, and save yourself $20. Do it. Do it. And that is all for today, folks. Ride safely, kiss the kids goodnight, and don't you dare leave here without clicking that like button. Subscribe while you're at it. Do it! Also, click that little bell so that you get notified each time this particular Canadian goose lays another golden egg. Until then, stay alive, you fools, and I'll catch you down the trail. I just saw my neighbor appearing through the window. I think I'll have some explaining to do. <laughs>